the formidable robot. NASA. Hello everyone, it's Thomas. I've missed you guys dearly. After a month-long hiatus and some moving around, the ARGFS is in business. Don't know who the ARGFS is? Let me refresh your memory. ARGFS, or the ARG Files Society, is a newly formed base for solving perplexing, disturbing and mind-bending ARGs lost in time. Today, we are looking at the unfinished work of Vincent Bodlinsky, what's left a family die ARG. What's the story? It's as follows from a deleted page. What happens when everyone in Cohog suddenly dies? What would be left of the world? The project started back during the first season of Family Die and stopped until October 30th, 2011. The date of the infamous Family Die Season 10 episode, Screams of Silence. Jesus, this is so difficult to organize. My buddy Mitch Castle, sent me a box and an envelope containing pieces of the ARG. CDs, pages, pictures, and even a brain scan. I'll get back to the brain scan later. I looked at the pictures. Each picture were scenes from Family Die, but empty, with some dead skeletons of people. It's disturbing, to see a cartoon world vanquished from existence, including everyone. I pulled out a CD, What's Left, Episode 1, Welcome to Kohog. I inserted into my DVD player, and it played. The episode started with shots of the intro. No one was at the piano, with only two bony hands. Even the stage was empty, but there was no sound, nor music, just the vague silence accompanied by a soft clatter sound or wind. It cuts to the Griffin's house. No one. Brain's collar, or I mean Brian's collar was hung on the side of the door, but there was someone laying. When the wind blew it, my jaw dropped. Stewie, or the skeletal bit of him. I looked at the brain scan. It was Stewie's brain scan. What happened, I thought. The episode abruptly cuts to the streets and roads of Kohog. All of the cars were gone, and the occasional skeletal head clattered onto the road. I can't tell what the hell is going on. I thought I heard what sounded like a dog barking, but no. That was me filling the sounds in. This vague silence. It creeps on you. The last shot showed the Griffin's tombstones with their picture on them. As the DVD stopped, I stood there, trying to figure out what was going on. That's when my hand bumped on a piece of paper. I looked at it. According to notes from the crew of the show, plus the creator of the ARG, it was planned to be an actual episode where a nuclear explosion wiped everyone out of Kohog, including the Griffins. That made sense. I checked on more of the papers and most of them brought out details of court claims, lawsuits, YouTube records, and even pages dating from eBay with the creator selling bootlegged DVDs of Family Die Season 4. I may make a part two of this because I realized something. We barely crossed through the rabbit hole of madness, there's more family die secrets in this ARG we haven't touched yet. Like what happened to Brian and the others, 